Oh, welcome to another exciting episode of Michael Insight. Yeah. So, uh, today is going to be a little bit different. Today I'm going to do a little bit of therapy. But I'm also going to try and do a little bit of my usual insight as well. And to help me do this, I have a, well, pineapple. A little bit strange, you might think. Well, here we go. So I'm going to start off with um, a little bit of explanation of what I'm going to try and do. Uh, first of all, the therapy will be involving how to cut a pineapple. Not everyone knows how to do that properly. Even I don't know how to do it properly, but here goes anyway. Before I start getting into that, I want to try and explain a few things. You need to ask yourself a question. Am I a pineapple? Now, in case you think I've been having too much medication or drugs or whatever, the aim of what I'm trying to do here is try to explain in a figurative way, metaphorically, are you a pineapple? Now, for this, we need to forget the fact that we know that this is a pineapple. What we have to do is we have to look, what is this? What does it look like to you? If you've never seen a pineapple before, look at it. This has come straight off the tree, okay? Not that I have a pineapple tree. Oh, it is a nice sunny day. It's a very nice sunny day. And uh, it's great outside. Uh, the sun is shining on the Jeep there. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a great sunny day, despite the fact that every, the whole world's going mad and everyone's supposed to be locked up indoors. I just find it quite ironic. Anyway, so getting back to this nice sun blust day, pineapple. So if you don't know the fact that this tastes of anything. If you don't know that this is actually a fruit, if you don't know that this is actually a fruit, if you came across this thing for the first time in your life, would it even occur to you that this is food? Well, look at it. It doesn't look particularly inviting, does it? It's hard. It's sharp. Even these are quite sharp. And it's very, well, it's an oddly shape. It's an odd shape. Okay, I'll bring that a bit closer. Okay. <clears throat> so, my point is this. Asking you if you're a pineapple. Looking at its shape, it looks a little bit defensive, doesn't it? Are you defensive? Well, what I mean by defense as well, you go to touch it and it's not very pleasant to touch kind of spiky sensation. It's not going to cut you or anything, but it's basically saying, look, I don't really want you coming near me. Look at this. And it's certainly not obvious of what its actual purpose is. Its body is bigger, well, maybe not taller, but its body is wider than its head. Maybe physically that might match people. Who tends to have a wider body than their head? People who maybe have excessive weight. People who are maybe subject to abuse. Uh, name calling, Fatso for example. It's not very nice, but it's a name, it's a real name. People say, and much worse. Now, it's not just uh, the fact that it's physically looking wider than its head. It's also, it, as I said, it's on the defense. So the question, are you a pineapple, is, is this similar to you? Do you, or do you know anyone who is a little bit like this? It's a case of, well, you have a, a rough exterior. Maybe your mannerisms aren't very inviting. This pineapple does not look inviting if you don't know that it's pineapple. If it's a nice sunny day like today and you want a pina colada or whatever and you see a pineapple then you because you know what a pineapple tastes like yes by association this would look inviting but in terms of seeing it for the first time it is not the most desirable looking thing. So, the therapy time. We're going to know how to cut the pineapple. So, here goes. Not many people know how to do this. So, let's start. And I encourage everyone to start eating more pineapples. 
if you can get out to the shops that is. Don't go out the shops if you've been advised not to go out. So we're going to cut the head off. We're going to keep the head later. Now I don't really use the sharpest of knives, but that's the head off. We'll keep that for later. I'm going to tail it now, take the bottom off. And the key is here we want to keep as much flesh as possible. I could have done a better job there, see. I could have done a better job, but I am not a professional at this. I am just doing my therapy time for everybody. Now, what I've been told is, if you can see, if the little kind of indentations here, if they go in a diagonal, that's actually better for the style. But what we're going to do is, we're going to cut as least amount of the flesh as possible. Get the skin taken off. And then you'll start to see these things called eyes. That's important to know when you're going to cut. So it's taken me about, I don't know, about a minute so far to cut this bit off. Hmm, okay. I'm going to try and cut this again. Again, it's not that great, but then we'll, we'll see. Cut this, this off. That's a bit better, see? I've got this main stock better. Okay, so, as I said before, these are called the eyes. Now, you can't be eating the eyes, it's very sharp, you don't need them. But what we're going to do is, we're going to cut it diagonally. What I said earlier is that you get the eyes diagonally. I'll just take this bit off. So, what we want to do is try and cut it like this. And then like that. So that then, take that bit off and we've got them. Now again, I'm not an expert at this, but if it's taking a little bit of the flesh off, see, that's nice enough. Again, this is not the best designed pineapple for what I'm suggesting, but it's still not bad. Okay. Again. It's very therapeutic, I have to admit, you know, you don't have to be, you know, if people are safe around knives and things like that and you're not going around self-harming, I know that some people might start to get a little bit tense around these questionable times, but, you know, life ain't that bad, we'll get through all this. We've been through the Black Plague, the Spanish Flu, etc. So... And we've pretty much got all the eyes off. I know it's a little bit boring, but remember, it's therapy, and if you are wise, you could be watching this again copying what I'm doing and perhaps hopefully doing a better job. So, we've got most of the eyes off and you see it's actually quite well done. I've, I have only done this once before today. This is not bad. Quite happy with this. Now, look at that. I'm going to clear away this if I can, just at the side. Now look at that. That looks far more inviting than what it was before. The eyes have been taken off. Now how do we feel towards people staring at us? We don't like it. That's why I'm cutting the eyes off. Well, no, that's not why I'm cutting the eyes off, but 
getting the eyes off so we don't eat it, but it's nice not to have prying eyes, a thousand eyes looking at us all the time. Feel a little bit comfortable, but do you know what? People do have eyes and they're gonna look at us and we shouldn't be feeling so insecure about that. We should be thinking, well, what you see is what you get. Here I am, don't love, don't judge me, love me. I heard that from The Simpsons one day. So anyway, that's much better, but we're not finished. We need to be able to take it away, this palm, this heart of palms here. So we need to quarter it. This is the best way. So rather than going in and chiseling it out like that, what we need to do is we need to cut it into half, then a quarter, like that. Not done the best job, but hey, and then we take out the center stock. Again, we want to keep as much flesh as possible, and I think that's pretty good. Okay. And finally, here we go. And for this next part, go and try and get some skewers. I only have two, but I might do the job. And I don't even know if this is the right way around. I don't think it is, but hey ho, what can I do? I don't think so. I do not at all claim to be any kind of artist, but that's basically what you're looking at. So now what you're bare to doing is Cutting this, actually I may not bother with the skewers. Cut it, but don't cut it all the way down. So it's still a little bit joined. So now you're cutting it into typical pineapple chunks that you see from a tin. Okay. stock in there is still a little bit tough so you know you can judge it and there we are so it's not broken apart thankfully okay <laughs> spoke too soon and so that's the right way up I think and they're the wrong way around so I think that's it there. Yeah, so that's actually considered it was my last, my, my second attempt. It's not bad. And let's face it, when we cut, we want to cut properly. So you know, here we go. So let's put our hat back on. This ain't going to work properly. And well, there we go. So Michael insight is only human as we know, but I've never claimed to be anything else. So there we go. So we can dress it up like I tried to do with the hat before, or you just serve it like this. Now look at it now. It's nice, it's a complete different, completely different before from its jagged edges, its you know questionable look, exotic look, but we associate that again with exotic countries and hot summer and things like that. But again, if you just walked down the street and saw this thing for the first time, I, I'm just going to give up. You can keep this. It's just for styles, a nice funny hat. Just because you're wearing a funny hat doesn't mean that you are a, a rough, hard person. But let's get rid of that. And uh, now we have some delicious pineapple. Look at that, and it didn't even take that long. Now you might be questioning, oh, that was a very long video, but it really doesn't take that long. Um, 
I understand that some people just can't be bothered to cook the caliber of making a meal, etc., and cutting things up like salads and stuff and fruit, vegetables. I understand because I can't be bothered myself. I have other people, not that I pay them, but other people who are willing to do it. If I was on my own, I would probably do it, but I just, you know, personally, it's something that I kind of neglect. Um, but if I, as I said, if I was on my own, I'd probably find some sort of joy in it. I think another thing to be aware of, if there are other people taking on roles around you, like someone else in the house wants to cook or meal, make meals or whatever, then subconsciously we do rely on that other person. And in the way, I'll be the first to admit, I'm, de I'm, I'm disempowering myself in this area because I'm just letting other people do it. I have less motivation to go and do the meal. This is me giving insight into certain roles of practice, certain activities, general activities like making meals. But let's go back to the original poem. This is now ready to eat. And it looks very nice and juicy. Now it looks like something you would want to eat. It's not uninviting, like it's harsh exterior. It's actually very nice and soft. And if we have a taste, it's very nice and sweet. But it didn't look sweet. And how many people do you know like that? They have a harsh exterior. Maybe they're trying to maintain a harsh look. Maybe they're just being defensive. They don't want to show them true self. But look at the true self of a pineapple. Look how inviting it is. I'm seeing it's inviting. I've not cooked it, cut it properly. But it does look great. It does look juicy. And it looks great in the sun. So, are you a pineapple? Are you really sweet and nice and juicy in the inside? And actually a very, very nice person? And you just want the world to know who you are? But actually on the outside, people don't understand you. When people see you, people go near you, they see this. They see someone spiky. They see someone who wants to attack them. It's okay. It's all right sometimes to feel like this, to look like this. But at the end of the day, staying with this and looking like this isn't your purpose. This pineapple's purpose was to be ate and enjoyed by the creations of this world. Human beings, animals, you name it. It's a wonderful gift. And yet, it didn't look like an inviting gift at first. So, be a true pineapple. Be like this pineapple. And be less like this pineapple. This is Michael Insight. Michael out.